Tyson Foods has warned the meat plant closures could possibly lead to higher prices at the grocery store. News 5's Tanisha Cordell explains when we could see the ripple effect and what the outlook is like for local butchers. According to the North American Meat Institute, we could start to see those changes over the next month or so, and local grocery stores here may reap the benefits. We're a completely local butcher shop. They have it all, anything from pork, grass-fed beef, chickens, duck. Everything you buy here is made in-house. And it's in high demand. If it's in the case, they're buying it. Shipped directly from a local farm just 67 miles away from Ohio City Provision's front door. We're uh, kind of vertically integrated off one farm, so we have control of our, all of our product from the very start, birth of the animal, to uh, when the meat gets into the case. Owner and butcher Adam Lambert says the store's growth in sales is partly credited to the coronavirus pandemic. We're definitely thankful that we have this And he expects their success to continue as customers begin searching for meat products that may be out of stock in larger grocery chain stores. A ripple effect North American Meat Institute leaders say will soon hit hard. We've had some plants shut down due to uh, workers that have been sick. Spokesperson Eric Mittenthal says about 520,000 people make up the industry's packing and processing facilities. He says they're doing all they can to keep workers safe, performing COVID-19 testing when possible, taking temperatures and providing PPE. But still, Mittenthal says the virus's impact will change how Americans buy meat. People are used to having tons and tons of different meat choices available, uh, and not all of those choices are necessarily going to be available. Those changes possibly bringing in new customers and a new appreciation for small grocery shops. It is bittersweet that it takes something like this to open people's eyes. Tanisha Cordell, News 5.